A look at the nation's property market for the week ending Saturday, 6 August. An analysis by News Corp Australia of price data going back 36 years shows that the major capital cities have shown strong similarities in median house price growth and all have increased at least 1100% since 1980. Real Estate Institute of Australia figures show that anybody who bought in any capital city 20 years ago has doubled their money several times over. Sydney and Melbourne, currently enjoying house price booms, are the biggest long-term improvers, up more than 1400 and 1600% respectively. Brisbane and Perth were leaders of the pack previously. Chinese property buyers here to star. World's most amazing properties ONLIN. Cities that haven't doubled in the past 10 years. Adelaide, Brisbane, Perth, Hobart, Darwin and Canberra, have all trebled in value in the past 20 years. Real Estate Institute of Australia President Neville Sanders said that after almost 50 years in real estate, he had found that price cycles were consistent but not always predictable. Occasional dips and downturns reflected factors such as interest rates, unemployment and prices cooling off after a boom. He said, when you are in the middle of a cycle, you don't think too much about what it was like three years ago and you don't know what it's going to be like in another three years. Quote, Mr. Sanders said, property is a long-term investment. It's not about buying now and selling in two or three years to take a profit. Some do that if they hit the right cycle at the right time. But it's luck. Mr. Sanders said while the auction market grabbed the most headlines, it accounted for less than 40% of overall sales. Most sales are private sales negotiated by agents. There's no theatre so you don't get as much reporting. He said, things just keep ticking along. If you hold through a cycle, and through the next one, you get to benefit from that consistent long-term growth. Invested co-founder Nathan Birch said capital city property markets did not move at the same time, which created opportunities for investors. Mr. Birch, who at 31 owns more than 200 properties across three states, bought up big in Sydney during its long period of low and negative returns in the 2000s. People say it's dangerous, but I heard the same stuff in 2003. I heard that I was stupid and was going to go broke. He said, read property tycoon Nathan Birch's advice in FUL. Anyone buying real estate needed to have a plan, a strategy and a long-term view, Mr. Birch said. Researching the market takes up a lot of my time. Knowing what else has sold in the area, for how much and also understanding the neighborhood, not just the suburb you're investing in, is essential. He said, Twitter, of Keen Moan, email password anthony.keane at news.com.a. News. Com. Our privacy policy includes important information about our collection, use and disclosure of your personal information, including to provide you with targeted content and advertising based on your online activities. It explains that if you do not provide us with information we have requested from you, we may not be able to provide you with the goods and services you require. It also explains how you can access or seek correction of your personal information, how you can complain about a breach of the Australian privacy principles and how we will deal with a complaint of that nature.